Microsoft Designer is a graphic design app that helps you create professional quality social media posts, invitation cards, digital postcards, graphics, and many more things. It is available as a web app for creating visuals and graphics, and it's available to only Microsoft 365 subscribers. If you are not with Microsoft 365, I better advise you to subscribe because there are lots of benefits and features that you can enjoy. You can generate images and designs using AI to assist you in creating unique content, and it can be used to create items like signatures, invitation cards, you can remove backgrounds of any image, you can generate logos, you can design social media posts and many website banners and so much more graphics and features. So feel free to just go ahead and give it a try. For this tutorial, we're going to try it based on the recommendation by Microsoft. Go ahead and click on sign in to go ahead and sign it and start using it. So use this email because it's the email I used to get the access. So I can still stay signed in. And here we are on the new brand new Microsoft designer page. So you can see the number of things, for example, to the left, to the right over here, you have a number of templates that you can start from. So get inspired, select an example below to generate similar designs. So you can, as you hover over any kind of design, you will be able to see the text that represents it or the prompts that generated it for, for this. You can see this one is an invitation to come to my housewarming in West Hollywood art deco style design okay so once you do this it's going to create this design for you this very design you can see this one to the bottom over here a post about our bakery our bakery soft opening this spring with spring season colors you can see it very nicely done you can check around to see uh, to just get inspiration and some templates to have an idea into what kind of uh, prompt you can get from this and to start a fresh design you can click click on new design from here or you can come over here and just click over here and say start a new design or you can check on my designs what you've worked on what you've designed so far and to start with for this tutorial we want to start something afresh okay so we want to start by describing the design describe the design you like to create with just a piece of prompt the ai can help you to generate the design okay so we can start by writing a basic prompt from this prompt box so let's just say Generate a public speaking poster portrait with some audience and a speaker for a speech craft workshop. Generate a public speaking poster portrait with some audience and a speaker for a speech craft workshop. So you have the option to add an image if you have an image that you may want to add and you can generate an, an image also if you want to generate from here. But then we can just go ahead and click on generate and let's see what AI is going to give us as regards this little portrait, uh, this little prompt that we've just prompted. Okay, so let's click on generate over here and let's wait for it to see what kind of image we're going to get or what kind of poster we're going to get from Microsoft Designer. Okay, so just like that, you can see we have a number of them and they are very, very nice and fantastic. You can just hover over any of them to see it. You just have an idea into what kind of poster it is. Is a speech craft and if you want to see the bigger picture you can just come to the top right and just click on this plus sign okay to just maximize it and then you'll be able to see it clearly what it is you can see speech craft workshop with some audience and a speaker and it's a very good background i think i like this one but then let's try to see other ones okay so you can come to the small negative sign to just close it and we can check around on this one also i think it kind of looks nice okay this is good and fantastic but I think I don't like this. Let's say from this list, I want to, I'm interested in this one. So to visualize it, you can just come all the way to the top right over here to this plot sign. And you can just click to visualize the image that you have. You can see the image is too blurry. We have the speaker, we have audience, and we have a speech craft. So something like what we've just actually prompted, which is a portrait poster with some audience and a speaker. I think this kind of looks good. So let's click on the minus sign to... And I think I like it. So you can hover over the other ones and see for yourself. Like this one is a, a video. Okay. You can see it's a video of a uh, poster video. Okay. This one also is a video. So you can just uh, hover over it to be able to see what kind of uh, poster is it. I think I specifically like this one. There are other ones if you want to try it. And you can go ahead and customize this very one. So we can select it and come down here and say customize design. 
and you can see it is now in our customization uh, it opens the designer platform where we can edit this very poster to our liking so the first thing you notice to the right is the co-pilot is still there giving you ideas into what this poster a uh, different kind of template that you can use to replace this poster for example you can just with a click separate uh, replace this poster with this one or with this one or with this one if you have any idea or if you want to replace them you can go ahead and check check them around and see there are other designs that are very very nice and and you can go ahead and replace them just uh, very easily so but for now i think i like this one so i can just select once you select the text you can see the text editing features coming over over here for example you can change the coloration of the text you can change it to this color i kind of like it because we are talking about tools Masters international so i select this color and you have you can add your brand coloration if you want these are recently used colors and if you have any other one you can easily add and these are a photo colors so keywords contained in the in the photo and in the coloration of the general poster entirely these are the combination of the colors available you can replace them as you as you so wish also okay so with the text selected you have a range of other features from color you can change the font style you can see different kind of font style over here you can select from different font styles from diff display friendly font and handwriting and brand font or, or they are about or recently used for our fonts you can see a number of fonts that you can easily select and change your text accordingly then you have the text sizes you can play around with the text sizes you can increase or decrease but i think this 60 is is a good number because i like the the sizing and the position and then you have the alignment you can align left right center if you so wish okay you can do that from here and you can utilize you can underline you could strike through will change the position maybe uh, send it to bottom so, uh, bring to front bring back uh, bring forward send back send backward you can do all that in cases if you have elements that are overlapping with one another and then you can play around with the opacity opacity is the degree of visibility the coloration you can see we can decrease the opacity and you can see the text is becoming opaque and invisible but at 100 you can see it's very clear very visible so you can see these are text features that you can easily have access to whenever you just click on any text. Now, since we are starting with what we have, we can also go ahead and close this copilot so we know we are dealing with only what we have here. If you want to see other design ideas, you can always click here on the copilot and you'll be able to see different kind of designs to work with. But for now, I want to replace this image because I don't like it, it's blurry. So I can come to my media over here. Once I click, you can see I could import media from the device from this device from my phone from google drive from dropbox or from google photos any one of them i can easily drag and drop my media directly from here but for now i think i i want to import from the device i've already imported these two media you can navigate around and go to wherever you have your footage or your media in my own case i have it saved in March. okay microsoft designer and you can see them over here barack obama and these Toastmasters logos, I've already imported both of them and you can see them over here. So the first one is I would like to import, I would like to drag and drop the the Barack Obama picture. Okay, so you can see I just dragged and dropped it and I think it fits quite nice. It, it fits perfectly and I like it like this. Okay, so you can see I've just replaced the image. If you want, you can remove the background, you can double click or you can, you can double click the image and you can zoom it in and out. We want to increase or decrease the sizing and zoom in and out to any relevant uh, ratio or sizing that you want. But I think I like it like this. You can select the image and you have these image properties that are that appear. The first one is you have to, you can replace the image if you want. You can remove the background with just a simple click. You will be able to remove the background. Uh, you can see it very, very perfectly and within some seconds it has removed the background for you. I don't want to remove the background. Restore original. You can say restore original and you can crop also if you want to crop from the edges you can use this cropping tool to crop the image from the edges to any section of the image of the photo that you want once you're done cropping you can just click on done and it will crop but at this time at this point it doesn't make sense like this so i'm going to undo garden it to crop you can add effects if you want there are different kind of effects you can see remove background or blur the background if you don't want to remove you can blur the background to make it look appear and appear professional and then you can have other filters as well 
you can see from this photo it, it's been a little bit enhanced in terms of the quality you can see it's been enhanced you can use any of these filter but i think i prefer this one it's lighter and it's a bit much more better and professional you can play around with the intensity right now it's at 50 you can increase it to make it around 90 but it's too much you can make it 60 65 think that it's perfect you can adjust auto adjust everything also so we store original and you can do auto adjust i think i like the auto adjust feature okay so with still on the image you have position you can you still play around with the position like we've explained you can send it to forward backward or the about and then you have the opacity as well you can play around with the opacity you can make it quite opaque or you can make it 100 percent clear so i like it like this and i like it as it is and i want to bring in the logo to just signify that this is a tools masters event so i drag and drop the logo inside all right so i can just reposition it okay the logo doesn't have a background i can reposition it and put it here and i can select this text take it up a little speechcraft workshop by let me add a text a little bit of a text here so we can come to text field and we can add any text let's go let's say we go with this simple one you can just drag it down here and select it by Kinta Valley Toastmasters Club. So let's say we are doing this workshop at Kinta Valley. So notice the guide, the guidelines. This signifies that this is the center of the poster. And you can see also it's signifying another position that you can put it at, at the bottom. Okay. So let's say I'll put it at the center and at this position, like Kinta Valley Toastmasters Club. And I can select the text and play around with the feature. You have the text features like we've explained. But then I want to change only the color to this color i think it looks much better we can put the events detail when and date and time so we can add another text so let's say we add uh, some basic text so we add a little bit of uh, just add a subheading this one all right so let's undo this okay we select we drag it here so we, s we put in dates but then this is quite big we select we reduce the sizing over here all right so this is date you can select and duplicate or copy and paste so we can make this time okay so this is the date this is the time it's just to show that they are aligned okay so let's say this is the date 25th 25th of march 2023 and time is uh, 2 p.m okay so this is the date this is the time and you can scan something maybe the qr code to register so this is the little poster i want to put in other details as well at the top here so let's say we have some i have to put some elements at the top and the bottom so let's say we come to the visuals and i want to put this this recently used uh, rectangle i can just drag and drop it here i can just make sure i align it and use this edge to just drag it up to this point and down here a little bit and i can select this and duplicate or copy and paste and bring it down also and do the same thing at the bottom so i want to add some text over here so we can go to text okay so let's say we want to put in something like this and drag it up and drag it up and select it and say Featuring, featuring Barack Obama. Yes, let's say we are going to feature Barack Obama as our club. So we just select over here and make it bigger. But I can make this something like this. Get out and then maybe move it to the center. Select the whole thing, increase the size. Select everything, increase the size to like 60. I think 58 is good. So I can just I can just go ahead and just paste it like this. So I want to change the coloration of this element. I can just select and we we'll come here. I want to make it this color. And then I want to make the text to be white. Text should be white in color. So you can see now it pops very nicely. The same thing goes to this one. I want to make it the same color. And then I just want to put a basic text over here. So let's say this one. 
all right for more information contact 011 let's say this is my number but this is not my number so let's just centralize this using the, the guide okay so this is the position so at this point i think i like what i have designed i think i like what i see i particularly enjoy it mind you if you want to check uh, add the brand kit you can check out the brand kit and see whatever you have and whatever you want to save as your brand kit you can always create your own brand so your own design is going to be based on those coloration that you've selected and you have other templates also from here that you can also always use if in cases if you run out of ideas you want to check out new templates you can check from here as well so at this point i think i like what i designed i like everything sincerely so i just want to go ahead, go ahead and export this now you can check out here you can see my designs you can see the size you can rename this poster if you want and you can always come here for new design or come here for new design that's however you want it but then i would just want to export this i can come to download over here click on download and you can see you can download in different format from png to jpeg to pdf or you can send it to your phone if you want let's say i'm going for png because it's uh, more better in terms of quality even though i'm sizing uh, remove watermark make background transparent if you want the background to be transparent you can just check on this box but i don't want you can just uh, copy as image and paste it somewhere for example you can just copy and you can go to your docs and just paste it for example docs.google.com um you can all paste this as an image so let's say you create a new page and you can go ahead and just paste what you've copied and that poster is going to be here all right so you can see it what you just copied you can now pay you just pasted it here and i think it looks very very nice and fantastic you can always select it and resize it so it fits and you can see be able to see all the other features you can resize it from the edge and you'll be able to see everything all the details that you have on the poster so let's get back and finalize so you have the option to copy as image or to send to your phone and you can just go ahead and download it in my own case i'll just download in png format and you can see after just downloaded it your design was downloaded uh, don't miss out this these are other templates that if you want to play around with but i think i'm okay I can just click on my download here and I can take into where it has downloaded, which is here. You can see my download and you can see my poster ready made, completed just like I want it. All right. So there are a bunch of other things that you can do with designer. Microsoft has just released it. I believe there's a lot of potential in this. There's so much you can do. Uh, AI can generate quite a lot of things for you with just wordings. You can just go back and try wordings and before you know it you create and uh, wonderful things uh, wonderful designs with this very ai feature okay so i hope you enjoyed this video if you find any value up to this point please remember to give this video a thumbs up that would mean quite a lot to me and don't forget to always hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay connected to this channel for more and more videos like this so i'll see you in my next video bye